Good morning, you all. This is Amber from Holland. Um, Christine asked me to make a little tutorial about uh, making a wig for this uh, little lady. I uh, make uh, wigs and I restaurate uh, boudoir dolls. Uh, so this is um, a copy of one. Uh, she sent it me from uh, America to Holland, so it has traveled a long way. Uh, it was a raw bust, so I have to make it uh, a bit uh, uh, smoother. Uh, I painted it, made her makeup. Um, I'm going to make a, a, a flapper girl of her, so she has uh, darkened makeup on. So she already looks a bit like a, a flapper girl to me. This is a, a real boudoir doll. It's a, it's a lily bite, you can see that on the back. Um, this is the name of the doll and the autograph. I don't think you can see it, but it's maybe with the lights on. You can see a bit like here, bites. This one has a loosened wig, so I can show you uh, how it's made in uh, the 1920s. It's, um, I will remove it carefully like this so you can see it's a bald head too this uh, little wig was uh, made on uh, something like uh, paper march uh, papier mache we call that in uh, in holland um, and as you can see it was sewn on it maybe glued but most of the times you can find stitches where they put up the hair and uh, made her hairdressings. So we are going to copy something like this. A little bit more um, uh, like we do it now, but as original as possible. Right, put this one away. I'm going to use uh, Hardex. It's a transparent um, uh, textile hardener. Uh, I don't know how it's called in your country, but I'm sure you can get it. Uh, this one uh, is a big one. It's uh, nearly empty, so I have to use the last bit of it. <laughs> but it's all right. You don't need that much. Uh, what you need is some plastic, plastic bags for your sandwiches, it's alright, as long as it's thin. Uh, something like this, it's I uh, don't know how you call that in English, but I'm sure you know what I mean. Uh, old sock, one of my children's. Um, we're going to use the cloth of this uh, old sock, it's uh, stretchy, so that's great. And the textile is um, something you can tease through, so you can use it for the, um, the hair to stitch it on. And uh, this we need, and that, and I think we're something, no. That's it. And of course, there we're going to use for the wig. So, uh, let's start.
Kijk even, want ik heb wel laatst, volgens nee. mij vlak voor jouw vakantie. Ik heb er eentje gevonden. Well, good morning. Uh, as you can see, it's dry now. No whiteness. It's hardened, so I can remove the elastics now. Um, it's, you have to do it carefully because it's hardened too. So um, I think I'm going to use um, just a little. You can just be careful that you don't damage the, the bust. There she goes. You can throw the elastic away. Don't need it anymore. So it's fine like this. You can see it's the form of her head, so we have to cut uh, this away and then we try it on and we make it more like it's fitting on her head without seeing it underneath the hair. Oops. Right, that's gone. Uh, as you can see, she has um, a bit of a difference in her head form, so you have to be sure you put it on right because it has to fit like this. And as you can see, the hairline is much too low. This is all right, uh, but be careful, don't cut too much of this because otherwise it won't fit again um, so this is the hair I'm going to use um, and I wanted to see where I put the hairline so I think up there so that's something like a finger Just cut that piece a little bit higher. Oops. Like that. And then try it on again. Right. You can see it still fits. Maybe I take the ears away. Not sure because I want the hair. Oops, go away up there. So I think it's all right to leave it like this. All right, remove this and we get rid of the plastics. We don't need that. Oops. Right. Yeah, looks just fine. If you want to um, 
cut it a, a bit more you can do that but be sure this stays um, fitting otherwise it will fall off and you have to start again all right next thing we are going to do is make a little marking on the above her nose and make that a straight line towards her yeah how do we call that in English whoops to that point of the head so when we stick on the hair it's nice you have to put it up there that's the first one and a bit more on the back side to cover the back um, maybe I will stick some more underneath it but we'll see I'll start with the upper side uh, we're going to use, uh, use a, a fine needle with um, some rope in the same color well you can sit up there you little lady just watch your hair will be ready soon all right let's start um, be sure you use the, um, some more hair than you need this one is going to just come back um, I want it up here so I'm putting it there and to there so I take more hair like this and I am going to cut that whoops and I think I'm going to use somewhat like two or three so I cut them already one two three oops all right uh, as you can see it will curl so um, yeah all right this one two three you can sit up there again and now put these two aside I pick the middle of the hair that's like here and what I do is pull it out a little bit like this and if you want you can um, use another needle just to right. so you don't have to hold it all the time when you work on it start I made a little knot on the other side of the like that and the, whoops and I'm starting on the inside make sure it comes out on the line and I work from the back forwards so you can't see any knots or ugly stitches and the first time it's just a few stitches to make sure it sticks and then I can um, get rid of this one because it's sticking in my fingers and I don't like that oh I really gonna need my glasses now so I'll be back As you can see it sticks on it now doesn't need that much all right and just to make sure the front of the head is all right I do it again all 
just be sure it's tight and make little stitches so you see as less as possible so as you can see I don't know if it's sharpened yeah that's better see and I've put the the curls like this Alright, next one. This one I can use a little bit, I stretch it out a little bit more so I can, oops, more like that. Um, all right to um, put it on a bit um, uh, less neat because you can put it um, uh, the hair upwards later on and I think I'm going to use only two for this because this is quite a lot of hair as you can see get some of the hair more backwards so just stick it up here and then like that so that's the back of her head all right that's enough and now I have to make this one more neat maybe I'll no I have to need one more for this because otherwise I can see through it I don't want that so another one on it it's the last one so, oops. Yep, that's it. I'm going to use that for the back size. And this here, and that here. That looks fine. Great. The hair is on, much of the hair, and um, we have to make sure this one is uh, tight. So you can see the hair is already uh, curling because uh, the sewing. It's all right. We can see the thickness of the hair. So maybe I'll do this like this. Very curly. <laughs> How beautiful. Just for fun. Just to see how it's on her. Oops. Oh wow. Look at that. Yeah. Beautiful. All right. So, um, First I have to uh, make all the hair loosen, like that. And you can see it's going to be much more than it looks like at first. 
beautiful. Oh, I love this hair. <laughs> I wish I had this hair myself. Those girls, lovely. All right. Well, will you look at this? Look at this. Oh my God. She has Afro now. Look at this. That hair. Wow. Ah, it's a shame we have to cut a lot of it. Oops, it's getting a lot heavier now. So that's why this has to be very good fitting, otherwise it will fall off her head every time. But if you want a doll with um, uh, nice hair, you can put it like this or uh, make it like this. And you can put it with your rope and needle and make it hair like you want it to be. But I want her hair loosened and uh, she's going to get a, something like a, a jewelry in her hair, I think. But oh my god, I love her curls. <laughs> uh, do I want to cut off this? I love this. Oh my god. Look at this. Well, all right, enough of that. Yeah, I know you love it too. <laughs> so, the back side, we have to make sure it will all be a bit, and you can do it like just like this. Whoops. enough just to make sure it will be on the other side of the Oops. and we're going to do it like this Oops. that's enough that's more than enough Right. Next. Whoops, a little bit of hair on the inside. Now, let's fit that on. So a little bit of this, and we have to put it like there. So I have to stitch it on the sides, just to be sure it will stick on her head like this. And it won't be one big of a curly mess. So just make this nice, because look, you can still see the cloth. So you have to be sure you have to stitch that later on. But... Uh, Will be fine. This will be up there. Uh, if you want to, you can use a little marker again, just up there and the other side. Be oops, little girls. Be up there. All right. Uh, the girls don't make it easy to make her, her wig. Can hear my son in the background <laughs> arguing with the dog. I think she's going to try to get some of his fishes. And she's back. 
Hello, doggy. Just a little bit more, just to be sure, because I'm uh, thinking of gluing it on her head because the the curls make the the wig very heavy and it's falling off again. I don't want that because it's not an original. It doesn't matter. She just has to be pretty. show you just made a little marking before so I can find the middle and you can see that fits fine and you can see it's very loose now because of the stitches and the very heavy Whoops, that was the dog. Right. Leave it like this. And I think I'm going to glue it on her so I can make more like a head dress. Right, you can hear it's Sunday morning, but most of the people are awake now. Sunday morning, it's the time. Oh, it's 10 o'clock already. All right. Well, um, two, uh, two hours uh, after starting this video, um, I'm going to glue uh, this on her head because of the weight. And I'm going to use the same uh, textile hardener because it's uh, very friendly for the painting and uh, uh, the head. So, not going to ruin it just going to take a while before it's dry but uh, maybe it's time for a cup of coffee put enough on it because it's a very heavy weight to carry happy to have some more mm -hmm. That's enough. Just a little bit more to be sure because I really want to have it stick on her. I don't know if the hair is coming through that, so I'm going to right. I want everything underneath. Well, now the tricky part. Be sure you don't get any of the glue on the hair itself because it's going to be very hard and not going to be easy to get rid of it if it's in it. So I'll put up the hair like this. And looking for my marking. Where is it? I think it's this. Yep. All right. One, two, three, and yep. There she goes. Where is her line? Where is her line? There's her line. Whoops. Just push it a little. Make sure you get rid of the glue. And be sure she has it the right way on her head because you don't want to get it off again. Well, that's it. Mm. So far, so good. Look at her. <laughs> Wonderful. Right. Uh, see you in a bit.
Well, if you can see, I started with cutting her hair and molding it and uh, just a bit fussing with it so curls will come loose. I can cut or just stick in it so it's more like something I like and want for her. Happy to know how to cut hair. I'm cutting the hair of my children and friends of them, so it's, um, yeah, it comes in handy. <laughs> but doll's hair is a little bit different, so uh, I have to be careful not to cut uh, too much and uh, to mold it because uh, when it's gone, it's done. You can see you can use the curls to mold the hair a bit in the way you like it. Well, this is a bit too high, but maybe it will change when I put on a, a little jewelry for the hair. It's a little curl too much. You can see the beautiful uh, curls are coming out as long as you're fussing with it and just uh, loosen up the, the hair strings. So it's uh, more than enough I put on the, the wig. Maybe a bit too much even. But uh, I didn't know how it turned out because it was the first time I used this uh, wig stuff. And I um, very carefully to uh, keep some of the curls because I, yeah, well, I said that enough. I like them. Oops. Well, I think he has something too long. Yeah, this has to come off. And that's what I mean, you have to fuss with it, because uh, every time you think you are done, you find some new curls who are just a bit too long. And, uh, but be careful, you don't uh, see too much of the wig underneath it, because that won't be... Uh, very beautiful to see and that's why I use the black uh, cloth underneath this so if some of the hair is a little bit too thin you don't see the head underneath it those not these girls then you have to mold it again and again and again until you are satisfied with the result. Yeah. It's a bit like uh, real curls. You don't uh, real curls. You don't uh, cut straight don't uh, cut them with wet hair because uh, the curls will curl up and uh, you have an uneven line if you cut it when it's wet and straight so this is the best way even for the real curls See, it's a really nice line, 
Yeah, some curls too much. That up. Always cut them a little bit longer because they curl up. And uh, you don't want to hurt hair too short. And these little curls. And sometimes you have to be a bit creative with cutting so it's not a straight line uh, for the curls. And it uh, feels uh, naturally. Right, I think uh, another one. See, another done. Well, still too long. Come here, you. Where did you come from? Another one. Oh, that's a long one. See? Always, always good to check. look up around it because it's uh, look you see a long one here but I can see it filling up this uh, point so I put it down underneath this curl and it's okay well maybe you can uh, uh, stitch it with some uh, some of the leftovers afterwards but just cutting off some loose strings and I like this one to be a little bit longer because maybe I want to stick it up not sure yet and I like this one it's uh, curling around her face gives it a nice uh, look so I leave that one too for now and uh, just see when it's uh, when the doll is ready. All right there your hair is done I think just a little bit up here oh, look at her <laughs> look at her look at her curls isn't she lovely? Look at her. Well, next, I'm going to look for some um, old uh, pieces of uh, silk, um, laces, maybe um, some ribbons. I don't know yet. So um, I think I leave the, the wig as it is now. Um, I don't think I have to write uh, ribbons uh, at home so I first have to go to uh, a second hand shop or a broke counter or uh, something like that or maybe look on the internet for old ribbons and old uh, laces and maybe uh, my granny has some uh, old uh, shirts or blouses with a bit of lace on it because I really do love to uh, to use the, the real old stuff, even when she isn't really old. She's, uh, of course, uh, a copy, but anyway. Oh, and I've bought something on the internet I will probably try on. <laughs> Our eyelashes. Look at this. Not sure if, uh, if I'm going to use it, but um, I've uh, already cut two little eyelashes. Hope you can see it. They are very tiny. And they have a little curl up, so you have to be sure you put it on the right way. Otherwise the curls will go down and you don't have the result you want. But um, just to, to show you how it could be like this and you stick it up there so oh my god there it goes again I need my glasses and I think uh, uh, something like a pin set 
oh my god I can't and uh, maybe I'll stick it up there and you can uh, trim the, the lashes of course I will, I will put it on her cheek so you can see it better they are very long so you have to trim a little bit but um, you can stick that on the back on the on the black uh, line above her eyes so you don't see the, the line of the stitches here so maybe I'm going to use that not, not sure here's the other one I was I lost that one it was in her hair um, yeah so for so far um, maybe there will be another um, tutorial uh, about how I make her hair piece and uh, maybe uh, put on uh, a little bit of cloth not sure if, uh, if I'm going to make a complete doll I think I leave her like a bust because a complete doll uh, uses a lot of space and uh, my home is getting smaller and smaller by the day uh, and uh, yeah well I have a lot of dolls so uh, the space is uh, not that uh, much anymore so I think I leave her like this but I will take uh, a little bit of uh, old lace and, uh, and ribbons and, and, and uh, vintage um, cloth to uh, make a little bit of uh, a blouse or a hint of a dress or something like that but uh, focus on the headpiece and uh, her face so uh, yeah that's it Bye for now and uh, maybe uh, till next time. Bye.